Hello, Harshton. I guess Faltiriv can speak Gaelic. Welcome to Speak Gaelic. I'm in Dochus Gavilshivgimma. The theme of today's programme is Opeth, work. Opeth. And as usual, I have a very fitting Gaelic saying for you. Ni imir wav and nupir utram. In English, many hands make light work. Ni imir wav and nupir utram. And it's only one of the many new phrases you'll hear over the next half hour. So let's see what's coming up in this episode. We'll talk about work. I mean, I'm a driver. She driver Larry a hanan. Callum McLean makes a new friend in Ayrshire. How to ensure you're being seen and heard. And we meet Mirren Buchanan, who tells us about her Gaelic learning journey. There's a lot coming up. Let's get started and speak Gaelic. We're going to start off with a little bit of revision. Do you remember the phrase we learned in series one of Speak Gaelic? To tell someone what you do. I'm a nurse. Or if you're a teacher, However, there's another way to tell someone what your occupation is. You can say, Hami namo hichir. Hami namo hichir. What we're literally saying here is, I am in my teacher. And remember the pronoun mo, lenites, softens the next word. So teacher becomes hichir. Namo hichir. Namo is usually shortened to nam. So it becomes hami nam hichir. Nam hichir. I'm a teacher. Hami nam hichir. To ask someone what their occupation is using this construction, you say, Evelu nado hichir. Nado is usually shortened to nat. So it becomes, Evelu nat hichir. Nat hichir. Evelu nat hichir. Do also causes lenition, which is why we say hichir. With these evil questions, you'll remember we answer using ha or chanil. Yes or no? Here are some more examples. Hami nam nurse. I'm a nurse. Hami nam nurse. And if you want to say I'm a lawyer, Hami nam nech lugge. Hami nam nech lugge. Now let's see what kind of jobs are being discussed in this conversation. Hello, Harching. Ha, carriage cannon. Ooh, that king. Hello, Emma. It's me, she's out there. Come here, how? I'm a good doll, you're tap alive. I guess Tolly, you're faking. Hello, Emma. It's me, she's Seamus. Come on, how? Have you ever seen a much of Seamus? Have you ever seen a much of Seamus? Have you ever seen a glass of Seamus? Hi, Emma. It's me, she's Katrina. I miss you, I've seen a kind of Madrid. Do you know for a hacket? Fisker ma chatriene, ha Madrid cho bria. She nursha hanum, but me nam nurse on the Glasgow, a gusinisha ha me a lot of upper on the munchen. She polis a hanum andra. She polis a hanum. Ha me a food of out segeriston, ha me nam follis, a gus ha me nam chrichet. Ha andra na chrichet, jesahanye. I will upper a cat hay the hamish. How upper that come, Emma? Ha me nam graver. She driver Larry a hanum. Chanur in yos a driver. Catch you a fuddach. Ham you fuddach on the narkiv. Ham you go with an am driver on the ballin a chuckleshe. Ham you hot tollige can you grieve? Oh, do you get a triana? She no per hackitse. Shen yach freely a hanum, sir. Hai kaffee ek mufarentin in Zavale. Ham you go per on the kaffee acker. Nachelun advantage a triana. Well. Urinen ha mi nam vanijes. Urinen ha mishe nam hitcher. Bi mi a chick is gerimulchish. Agus urinen ha andra na chroichat. Well, ha shina kud falchich i a lorst, Emma. Andalenshiv in korig of a shit. 
Did you follow that conversation? And the lenshiv and koruch of a ship. Let's run through some of the occupations discussed. We heard both ways of describing what it is you do. Emma told the group, Shen nursahunam. I'm a nurse. Shen nursahunam. And went on to explain, Vaminam nurse aun in Glasgow. I was a nurse in Glasgow. Vaminam nurse aun in Glasgow. Andra told everyone he was a police officer. Haminam follis. I'm a police officer. Haminam follis. But he went on to add, Agus haminam chroicher. And I'm a crofter. Agus haminam chroicher. Seamus told everyone, Haminam graiver. I'm a driver. Haminam graiver. And he went on to explain what he drives. He's a driver lorry, a lorry driver, a driver lorry. What about Katrina? In her own words, Shinyach frihavi hunamsu. Nyach frihavi is a waiter or waitress. Nyach frihavi. And she says unamsu instead of unam for emphasis. We also heard how to say what someone else does. Seamus told Emma, She polis a haun an andra. Andra is a police officer. She polis a haun an andra. Seamus then commented on Andra's part time job and said, Ha andra na chreutcher jisaharnye. Andra is a crofter on Saturdays. Ha Andra na chreutcher jisaharnye. We say na chreutcher when referring to a male. If we were talking about a female, we would say na chreutcher without lenition. Na chreutcher. Let's listen to some of these phrases again. She nursha hanam. But me nam nursha on the Glasgow, I guess initia hami a lot of upper on the muntjen. She polis a hanam Andra. She polis a hanam. Hami a fudu hout segeristan, hami nam folis, agus hami nam chreuschet. Ha andra na chreuschet, just sa hernye. I will upper a kate de hemish. Ha upper a kamema. Hami nam driver, she driver laria hanam. O tulike katrina, she an upper a hakatse. Shenyach freely a hanam, sir. Hai kafi ek mufadentin in the valley. Hami a go per on the kafi ake. Now, I'm delighted to have been joined in the studio by another inspirational Gaelic learner, Mirren Buchanan. The mod was one of the first things to spark Mirren's interest in Gaelic, and things grew from there. But before we start chatting about her learning journey, let's find out a bit more about her. Smisha Mirren Buchanan. I'm Mirren Buchanan. I'm a Firoch and a Glasgow, Kuchiri Mugramer, Andy, Agus Mohat, Hoki. I'm studying Gaelic and English linguistics at Glasgow University and I've started working in Gaelic media. Bimiajin of Shetri. I really like the creative process of making jewellery from these rings, beads, and wires. I sell these online. So now in her course and in Gala for how many hoops. When the mod was in Thurzo, it spurred me and my friends to play traditional music, and I started learning Gaelic. Then me Gaelic the local young to keep in art school. I got to me and Shane. I find it quite a mindful activity. I've only recently started, but I love it, especially as I have an interest in sustainability and stopping fast fashion. 
When I was at university, I was diagnosed with functional neurological disorder, which sometimes presents itself as a fit or spasms or limb weakness. Crochet helps me because it reduces anxiety, which is the main cause of fits for me. Kernak e Lajisha. I enjoy communicating in Gaelic with my friends and have taught children Gaelic. Maybe I can include Gaelic in my crafts. Mirren, Fal Church, the speak Gaelic. Come here, how? Hakadoyal, come here, Hashapain. Give me a tafalet. Now, it was lovely to hear you singing there. Do you find that singing helps with your learning? Yeah, definitely. I actually learned to sing in Gaelic before I learned to speak in Gaelic. I went to the local face and my mum and me met a lovely woman called Christine Stone, who I'm sure some people will know. Mm -hmm. Um, and she taught me singing for many, many years. So I found that I think I actually sing with a very Lewis accent compared <laughs> to when I'm speaking in Gaelic. I think I sound a bit different. Now, the Mod was obviously an inspiration for your learning. Can you tell us a wee bit more about that? When the National Mod came to Thurso, all of my friends and like all the people around me were going to learn Gaelic and learn traditional instruments. And I really wanted to join in. So when the Mod was over, the local fish carried on. Uh, and that was definitely what got me into Gaelic. I think without the mod, I wouldn't be speaking Gaelic today. Now, your language learning journey is really interesting. Can you tell us how you started learning at first? Yeah, so unfortunately, in my high school, Gaelic wasn't available as a subject because there were no teachers. But a few times over in Betty Hill, there was a really great Gaelic teacher called Mr Miller, who I, I don't think I'd be able to speak Gaelic without him either. Um, he was a huge inspiration for me learning Gaelic and he's just one of the best teachers I've ever had for any subject. Does studying English linguistics help with your Gaelic? I think it's actually more like the other way around. I think having studied Gaelic, it really helped with linguistics by the time I came to university. Because I studied Gaelic as a learner, yeah. I had to learn all these grammatical things. So by the time I got to university, I could already see language as broken down into building blocks, which was really, really useful for linguistics, because that forms a lot of the foundational study of linguistics. Mm -hmm. And have you found that there's been a breakthrough moment for your Gaelic learning? I think working in a Gaelic industry has really, really helped. Being able to speak it every single day with loads of people who are fluent or at different stages of their learning journey too. I think that's been the most useful thing for me. Do you ever get to speak Gaelic with your friends? I do, yes. I have lots of Gaelic speaking friends. I was just in Barra for the weekend and it was so lovely because I felt so comfortable speaking Gaelic with them. Can you tell us, do you have a special word or a favourite Gaelic phrase? Yes, I do. My favourite Gaelic word, I need to watch, I don't get this wrong, is sluashrug, oh. which I think means the sound of the sea mm -hmm. rushing onto the sand. It was in my favourite Gaelic song, Anathra Gard, which I did as a solo years and years ago. Um, and I just like the onomatopoeia. And living in Glasgow, I always miss the sound of the sea, so I think it's nice. Yes, Sluashrug is a wonderful Gaelic word. And Mirren, Tahpalev Gamor, thank you so much for coming to see us and good luck with your continued language learning thank journey. Thank you. Agus Anisha, Han Tao Maun, a goal on an Kudjoch Haldam Vichelien, who's making new friends. What has 18 hands but can't change its own shoes? Hmm. It's an erch, a horse, an erch, an erch dal chluai, to be precise. A Clydesdale horse, an Echdal Chluai. And the hands, Lavin, hands, well, it's a bit of a trick question, because hands are how you measure a horse's height from the ground to the top of the withers, that's like the shoulders. Un lav, one hand, un lav, Keher Orlich, four inches. Keher Orlich. Let's see how I measure up. I'm about. Three geok lavin, 13 hands, three geok lavin. Not bad. Let's see how I measure up against these ich. That's plural of horses around here. Ich. Ich, Gauchluai, have long been famed for their size and strength and exported around the world as working horses. Hence the phrase, Cholacher ri ech, as strong as a horse. Cholacher ri ech. I've come to Blackstone Clydesdales in Shirach Ar, Ayrshire, to speak with John Duncan and to learn about these impressive animals. 
What kind of things have they been used for over the years? Mainly farming. Uh, they, they were here before the tractors and the machinery came in. They were used for anything you can think of. It used to be mechanical, they used to be in the railways. Uh, they used to pull boats. What makes them such a good workhorse? Their temperament and their big, strong, strapping horses. Years ago, I would say the, your big horses would be about 16 hands, 15, 16 hands at the farms years ago. Uh, now you're getting horses up in 18, 19 hands easily. Today, the farrier is replacing Clyde's Crua, a horseshoe, Crua. Why do the horses wear shoes? Well, it's mainly to feel you can to stop their feet from wearing. So they last about six weeks. You can take them on the road and they last six weeks. Whereas if they had no shoes on, you would only get maybe six mile at the horse's feet and then that would be over. Because their feet would wear, it would make it um, very uncomfortable for the horse. So they need shoes. I'm going to get a chance to lead one. What tips can you give me? <laughs> well, the biggest tip, don't let them stand on your toes. Don't let them stand on your toes. Uh, be natural. Don't be afraid for them. Uh, a horse can such tension. Uh, I'll show you what to do and uh, we'll go for there. After a quick instruction from John, I'm ready to go. Be me kirst gilior. I'll be all right. Be me kirst gilior. I need to remember John's advice. Don't let him stand on my toes. Be natural. Don't be scared. I've got this. I think I'm doing all right. What do you think, Clyde? Hasho Erevi Skinyal. This has been fantastic. Hasho Erevi Skinyal. You know, I've often been unsure about horses, but Meeting Clyde, I've changed my mind a wee bit. With his 18 Lavin and my, well, 13, we make quite the team, don't we? I'm just happy that Ich Dal Chluai don't have to work so hard these days. Right, J Ni Mi Nisha. What will I do now? J Ni Mi Nisha. Here, bud. Come on, Clyde. You could come home with me. Do you like swimming, eh? Take you down here, beach. Bechen Iangendach. Amazing animals. I'm so glad the horses didn't tread on Callum's toes and that he very much enjoyed himself. I wonder if he'll branch out into animal handling. We'll have to wait and see, but thanks to his efforts, we learned that the Gaelic for a horse is ech. The plural horses is ich. And hands are laven. Laven. Nisha, let's speak some more Gaelic. A will shift you shall bring you in bacon of a rock garlic. Earlier in the programme, we looked at how to say what it is you do for a living. For example, if you're a teacher. Hami namo hitcher. I'm a teacher. Hami namo hitcher. We're now going to look at a phrase that follows a similar pattern with mo my and do, your. To ask someone if they can hear you, for example, on the phone or online, it's Evelu gamo chwainchin. Can you hear me? Evelu gamo chwainchin. Remember that any word following mo is lenited or softened. As long as it begins with a letter that lenites, such as b, c, F, G, M or P. You'll find more about this on our website. However, just as NAMO is often shortened to NAM, GAMO is usually shortened to GAM. So GAMO CHIN changes and becomes GAM CHIN. EVELU GAM CHIN. Are you hearing me? EVELU GAM CHIN. Hearing you would be gat chwainching, gat chwainching. So if you were hearing the person, you could say, ha me gat chwainching. I am hearing you. I can hear you. Ha me gat chwainching. Now, what if you want to ask whether someone can see you? The Gaelic for seeing is a feichging, a feichging. So to ask, can you see me? You would say, Evelu gamaichkin. 
Remember, because gamlinite's the following word, it becomes gammeichgein. And to say you can see someone, it's hamigateichgein. I am seeing you. Hamigateichgein. Let's listen out for some of these phrases in this next conversation. Hello, Elsie. Come here, Hashiv. I'm going to have a lunch. I'm going to have a Ha! Show Alice. Karish Yamo Vam. Alice, show Elsie. And that be you. Hello, Elsie. I'm going to tell you what you can do. Hello, Alice. I'm going to go up with Kodari Madi. Ganyel, she's a teacher. Oh, I'm going to have a teacher on the school. Ganyel, I'm going to have a teacher on the school. Ha, Alice, the chick is cool. He does her listening. Oh, I'm going to have Still at Elsie Kill. Hi, Ma, Shane. Bastion. And be sure of Shane? Oh, still at Kill. A Hane teacher, no nach Kula Hanum, she opened his social to Vanum. Hane, be go with the Nishi. A Welsh of Gamaking. She clicked at the Balkosha in them. Bastion, be fake of all. A Welsh of Gamaking. She reached the Balkosha in them. Captain Rush of a Gopid. Vammy a Gopid and a donation, I guess, and show and a glass through. Vamishes are not high and no pain, I guess, and this year, Hamming them teachers. Vamma feud, not teacher. A very sure Gopid. Hanyel ha isha and nisha and a mule. Barston, be fake a loch. A look on pointing. She's strapped in a hannum. And tell my come of all the Gopis. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to Did you follow that conversation? And the lens of the Alice and Elsie's chat was continually interrupted by Marston, who shouted, A Vilshev Gemeichkin. Can you see me? A Vilshev Gemeichkin as he pretended to be a football player and then a referee. She reached the balkosha at home. I'm a football referee. She reached the balkosha at home. However, Marstein quickly became bored of football and decided to become a climber instead. She strepped at home. I'm a climber. She strepped at home. Elsie is concerned for Marstein's safety and asks him to be careful. Be feichgeloch. Be careful. Be feichgeloch. But Marstein doesn't pay much attention and Elsie has to make sure he heard her. A velugam hoinchin. Are you hearing me? A velugam hoinchin. Let's listen again to some of that conversation. And remember, you can watch all of the conversations in the series on our website, supported by bilingual transcriptions. A verse of Gamaiki. She reached the Balkosha Hamam. Captain Rush of a Gopid. Vammy a Gopid and a donation, I guess, and show and a glass through. Vamish is a no high and a no pain, I guess, and this year, Hamming them teachers. Vamma feud, not teacher. A very sure Gopid. Hanyel ha isha and nisha and a mule. Barston, be fake a loch. A look on pointing. She's strapped in a hannum. And tell my come of all the gopers. Vamma, can you hurry, Dallas? Jimmy and Drasta. A bash then, and tell my son less than cue. We've often mentioned the possessive words mo, do, a, my, your, his, and her, and their plurals ar for our. Ur for your and an for their. And mo, do, and a, uh, my, your, and his all the night the next word. They also appear slightly disguised in two other important constructions. First we have nam nat, as in haminam hochgede, I'm a chef, or avilu nat hichir, are you a teacher? And secondly, gam. Gat, ga, as in Hami gamfeichkin. I'm seeing them. Or Hanilmi gatchloinchin. I'm not hearing you.
You can find all of the phrases and vocabulary we've looked at in this episode online, as well as lots of additional content to support your learning. Hamin dochas gavile a course to grief a viga clerchig. I hope you enjoy using the website. Hamin dochas gavile a course to grief a viga clerchig. Now let's take a quick look at some of the words and phrases we've covered. How to tell someone what your occupation is using the phrase hamin nam, aima, and whatever it is you do, hamin nam. In Seamus's case. He's a driver. Haminam Griver. Haminam Griver. We also learned to ask what it is you do. Are you a Avilunat? Avilunat. For example, are you a teacher? Avilunat teacher. Avilunat teacher. And to say what someone else does using Haina, he's a Haina. Andra is a crofter on Saturdays. Ha andra na chroichter jis saharnia. Ha andra na chroichter jis saharnia. We also learned how to ask if someone can hear you. A vilu gam chloinchin. A vilu gam chloinchin. And can you see me? A vilu gam meichkin. A vilu gam meichkin. As well as I can hear you. Hami gat chloinchin. Hami gat chloinchin. And I can see you. Hami gat deichkin. Hami gat deichkin. Remember, you'll find detailed learning materials on our website. You can watch all of the programmes in this series on BBC iPlayer and also download our podcasts from BBC Sounds. And if that's not enough, you can keep up with the latest learning on all of our social media platforms, where you can connect with like-minded learners. Until next time, Kumavsuas ur Gaelic. Keep up your Gaelic. Agus fiach can be shivka klachig chotrich sasurigiv. Try to use it as much as you can. Marshall Leivendraste.